Hello, welcome to the AWC Automation channel. Today we will follow up on our UDTs video with how to use those UDTs in an HMI effectively. Before that, we need to talk about faceplates. By definition, these will go hand in hand with UDTs because they are specifically designed to be reused and reduce engineering effort. In this video, I have completed some of the work not associated with faceplates or UDTs to keep this video to a manageable length. I have also added a data point to our UDT to show the tank ID. If you make a change to your UDT, make sure to update your PLC interfaces and re-download to the PLC, or that data point won't exist, and as such will not be available to the HMI. Also add your UDT to the project library by clicking and dragging over to New Type under Project Library. First, we need to create a design for our faceplate. I placed several objects on the screen for our example and laid them out as I saw fit. Your design may not be the same because it should match your company's design language and standards. Once I was satisfied with my design, I highlighted all the objects, right clicked, and you'll have an option for create faceplate. As I'm already working on one, I will come over to the libraries and just open the faceplate I'm already working on. Once you're in this window, you will need to verify that all of your items show up as expected. If they don't, Make sure that the window is the right size by deselecting Auto Size and checking your width and height. Open your blank interface as shown so you can see all of your elements. Drag your UDT version over to Under Properties Faceplate. Once you've added it, you will see every tag for our UDT type. The next step is to point each element to the tag that will be provided for each instance of the tag. I will show you the last one as the last one was completed using the same process for the rest of them. The last field we need to parameterize here is field 5. That is our tank ID field. So what you do is scroll down under this field, find general, and we want to put it to our process value. So what I do is I grab the purple tag and drag that over to this side where I will find my tank ID and just drop it and it creates the line. Once you have parameterized all your tags, release the version and save changes. Now that our basic faceplate configuration is complete, we can start by adding instances to the HMI screen by dragging them from the library. First, let's go over to start. That will take us back to the HMI visualization. First, let's delete our first instance as that was a rough draft. Next, we'll drag over the latest version that we've created. We want to verify that the size is just right and it's not overlapping the bottom. So that's perfect. For this example, I'm only going to use 5. So now I just want to space these out somewhat evenly. Now what we can do is grab all 5 of these, space them out horizontally, and we're almost there. We want to space it out vertically too and make sure they align at the top. So now what we're going to do is for each one of these, you're going to click it, go down to properties. That will bring up this interface tab. What we want to do now is click up here on our DB that holds our array of that user data type. Look in the details view and just drag over one tank. Because we used a UDT, there will be only one tag to populate. Since this is the first tank, we will add tank 0 from our data block. With this single connection, all data points for tank 0 will automatically be connected to each element of your faceplate. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1-800-AWC-INFO or www.awc-inc.com. We are here to help.